Hello Pisces and welcome to your April 2023 Singles Love Reading. Pisces, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you and please check what resonates, leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements, your moon and rising signs to see if there's any more guidance or clarity in those readings for you if you're looking for more um, if you're looking for more. So we'll just leave it at that. Welcome to my channel, Pisces. I really appreciate you all being here. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rudy. If you're returning, welcome back. I thank you all for your time and your energies. I want to take a second to thank all the new subscribers, all the subscribers, obviously, but all the new subscribers. Thank you for helping make this little channel grow. It's a very small channel. And if you follow other tarot readers, you'll see what I mean. Um, I've been at this, I guess, maybe three years now, or almost three years, and or maybe over three years. But, I, you know, it's very slow and steady, and that's fine. I'm not looking to, you know, be a breakout reader or any of that. But I love what I do, and I love that you all acknowledge that. So, and your feedback, your, um, you know, talking amongst yourselves, I love all of that. So, thank you all very much. All right, Pisces, again... You could be newly single. You could be single for a long time. You could be dipping your toe back in the water. I love this card. I love this card. This is your overall energy for the reading is happiness. This is your goal. This is your ultimate goal. This is how you want your relationships to play out. You know, you want happiness. You don't want to settle. You don't want to, um, you know, you want a partner. You want somebody that you can do things with and have fun with. You know, there's two dolphins here. It's not one. You want happiness. You want genuine happiness. Um, again, fun and like-mindedness, but not not just like you. You know what I mean? You have sensuality and motivation. And again, motivation and sensuality, I just feel that um, the sensuality could be a sexual thing, but I feel it's more of a... Feeling good about yourself, um, feeling good about yourself and opening up about, you know, things that you are um, adamant about. And I feel, too, that, you know, being comfortable in your skin and wanting like-minded, you know, partners is what I feel. And just be careful with this card, with the motivation with it, is that um, you don't get carried away. Sorry, my, my very big dog was laying down, so shook the table. Um, that you don't get carried away with uh, too full of yourself comes to mind, you know. But I'm not saying that you will, but I'm just saying that um, a little bit can go a long way, so just be aware of that. And I also, I really feel with those two cards that the motivation for sensuality is that you are, you are, um, you're looking for true happiness and you're looking not to hold yourself back, but in doing that, don't give too freely of yourself, um, not unwarranted, but just, you know, um, golly, be careful with it and, and know that the potential's there. Um, and not just give give things away to everybody is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. We have uh, memories and trapped and mirroring. I just feel that there's there could be a um, past relationship that could maybe be codependent or could be too, you all were too close or too much alike that maybe you felt trapped in. And that it, you know, it's in the memories. It, it keeps bringing things up. It can also mean that you, you know, there was a relationship that you felt trapped in, maybe a codependent relationship or narcissistic or some type of um, relationship you couldn't get out of, and that you're really looking for somebody that is more like you, that is more um, into everything that you're into, or that you all can complement each other. That could be a possibility with that too. Again, the ultimate goal of this whole relationship is happiness, and. Um, you know, the sensuality is how you feel about yourself is how I, I think. And, but a lot of times when we feel really good about ourselves, it can attract everybody, you know, so be careful of who you attract is, I guess is what I'm trying to say with those two cards. 
We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. Again, deciding what you want, you know, deciding what you want in a partner, uh, putting it out there. Maybe you want them to be single, obviously not, not attached. Maybe you don't want them to have um, been married before. Maybe you want children. You don't want children. You want them to be uh, self-sufficient. You want them to have a good job. You want them to be stable and funny. And, you know, you're putting out there what you want and knowing you're in charge of this. Um, you're the leader of this game. You're the leader of this, um, you know, going in. Um, it's your, you pick, you choose, right? You're in charge right now. Um, with the emperor and it's it's I think believing in yourself and believing in um, in past experiences that the lessons you learn from past experiences the emperor is a card of Aries so there could be somebody coming in also um, that meets that criteria um, it could be somebody that is like a um, a professor or a teacher or somebody that maybe you look up to that you're interested in or maybe they're interested in you too with the emperor card it can also be you taking the leadership role you taking charge of uh, the situation six of wands the empress i love it because you're the empress and the emperor again it's that mirroring it is that honoring of each other not letting the memories of a past relationship get the better of this relationship this person coming in um, can be a really good vibrational match for you um, with this being said there's no there's a victory card here with the six of wands so you know what you ask for can come into fruition but it also is a is a good match for your energies be you the empress or them the emperor or vice versa the empress is a grounding energy it is an energy of growth and fertility and it's an energy of creativity and creating so if you are the creative one the partner could be the one that runs with it and make gets it done or um, you have the idea and they can implement it they have the idea and you can implement it. You all work really well together. You work in tandem together very well. This could be somebody you meet at work. It could be somebody you get along really well with. Maybe you have projects together, but there's great success in this. These four cards here, there's great success in this. You have the strength and you have Ace of Pentacles. Again, could be somebody you work with. Strength card's a card of Leo. It's a card of believing in yourself. It's a card of knowing that um, inwardly and outwardly you've got this. I feel like with the, the Ace of Pentacles, it's like, you know, the new situation that can come up. The new potential. That you're ready for it. With the strength card, I feel that you are, um, I feel like you're standing there, you just like bring it, kind of like the six of wands, it's like, come on, let's go, bring it, you know, I can do this. There's a lot of maturity here, Pisces, there's a lot of growing up that you've done. And you're seeking that as well. Knight of Swords, bottom of the deck, subconscious energy, actions being taken, Movements being forwarded. Communication coming in. The emperor or the empress can be moving forward in the relationship. Again, it's a very um, balanced, mature, even if you're just in the talking phases, because the Knight of Swords is all about communications. Even if you're getting to know each other, going out for coffee, taking things slow, but then swords is usually quick, quick energy, but it's also, again, I feel like a uh, energy of momentum. You have the death, look at this, this is interesting. You have the death card, which is 
the card under this one and it's letting go of what no longer serves you letting go of these memories of feeling trapped of feeling stuck of not being happy and then you have the king and queen of swords so you have this double you know the emperor and the empress there speaking your truth standing up for what you all believe in It's like when you let go of what no longer serves you and you stand in your power and your strength and your beliefs and you know you want happiness above all else and you want partnership. You want some like-mindedness. You're going to get it in truth. You're going to get what you ask for. So be careful. Because it's coming in and it's it's like it's going to hold you accountable is what I feel. There's an accountability here. And not a bad, it's not a bad thing. It's just, uh, um, well, here you go. <laughs> here you go. You wanted this. Here you go. You got this. And you're going to be going, whoa. Um, and it's going to have you step up. It's going to have you stand in your truth. It, it may have you motivated to take action or take control. It's like, if this is what I really want, then I need to continue on with it. Because if you want this mirroring, if you want this... Oh, sorry, I've got ashes all over. If you want this um, like-mindedness and you want happiness... The motivation will be there and the, the people will be there. I just feel that the emperor stands in truth and the, the emperor stands in truth. And there's so much a likeness. There's so much of being alike here. But having to let go of anything that um, held you back or holds you back. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Whoops. Ugh. All right, that was way too many. Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. Clarifier, please. The Nine of Wands. You've waited a long time for this, Pisces. You've waited a long time for this. Um, you've been through a lot. You've, again, memories of being trapped, memories of being hopeless and helpless. You've waited a long time for this. And it's the wait is almost over because you have this beautiful energy coming in of what you've asked for. Six of Wands and the Empress. Child of Cups. I see this as with the Six of Wands and the em Empress, the victory card with um, this grounded energy of uh, potential and truth. Messages coming in. You can have messages. You can hear from somebody um, that surprises you. You can get a surprise message. Um, that could be how all this starts. You could get a surprise message from somebody. Maybe somebody you, you used to know. I also see this as, um, again, careful what you ask for because I don't think it's going to... Um, look exactly like you think it might look or be exactly how you think it might be. I think there could be some surprises in store in a good way. And I also feel with the Child of Cups is that this is, you know, wanting this loving, nurturing relationship. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it's a cup energy. Wanting the rom romance, wanting all the bells and whistles. Ace of Pentacles and Strength, you have Four of Cups. Seeing everything. Um, <laughs> you know that movie, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once? Seeing everything, everywhere, all at once is a four of cups to me. Um, honoring your emotions, your feelings, and then seeing the past play into the present. Uh, not being so caught up in in your your feelings or your emotions that you don't see what's going on around you paying paying attention to what's going on around you
and I feel with the strength and the Ace of Pentacles, seeing the potential in a person, seeing the potential in yourself. And knowing that what happened in the past is just that. It's the past. It's memories. And you can let that go. You can let that go. I can read for myself all day long and I don't drop cards, but the minute I start reading for other people, cards fly. So we have the crown chakra. That is your belief in a higher power, universal life force energy, letting that love energy come in. Pedestal, beginnings, um, solar plexus, and hero. Interesting, because the hero to me is, uh, we have that in Six of Wands, the victory card, is a hero card. It's a win-win situation. What, 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 you, what you are going into is exactly what you want. It's just be careful because you're going to get what you want. But it's a good situation. It just might take some adjustment. Again, I think this is divine. I think this is coming through you. I think it's of a higher power, a relationship coming in. You have pedestal. And again, I feel that be careful about um, feeling too good about yourself or getting too cocky about yourself or um, putting out too much of yourself, like putting out too much sensuality and then attracting everybody, right? Um, new beginnings. And you have the solar plexus. So you have your uh, drive and ambition. Um, having what it takes. Knowing what it takes to get you from point A to point B. Because you have the strength. You have the strength card here. So you know what it, it's going to take to get you moving. Or to get you um, in the relationship. Going into it. Um, new beginnings. I love the sun. I love the sun aspect. The warmth. The uh, growth of this. And again, the mature level here of not only the same level, same vibrational energies, but the, the truth and the, the fairness and holding accountable, the accountability here that you both are. It's like you both are on the same page. It's like you're getting, you know, this, this mirroring. Um, you see yourself in each other. Hmm. Wow. Pisces, I don't know what to say. Let me know how this resonates. It's an absolutely beautiful card. And pedestal can be too. Don't hold your partner up on a pedestal. Or don't let them hold you up on a pedestal. Because we're all human. Right? We're all human. And yes, it's good to be acknowledged. And it's good to be loved. And it's good to be, um, you know, somebody really care about you. And I'm not saying that at all. But just don't. Don't let and don't hold them and don't hold yourself up to a, a level that you think is unattainable or can't be touched or reached. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Now I put readings out mid-month for health, career, finance, and love. If you're interested in those, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um... Beginnings, too. I see this as a card of Scorpio, you know, death card, which you have Scorpio. Letting go what no longer serves you. Reinvent, not reinventing yourself, but rising up out of the ashes. Rising up out of the ashes. Being through something over and over and over again. Being through so much of something. You're wounded. You're, you're hurt. But yet you are growing and you are uh, moving forward and thriving. Love it. Pisces, take care. Um, subscribe again hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss anything and leave me a comment um if you have any questions let me know and uh just give me a thumbs up if you don't want to do anything that would appreciate i would appreciate that and if you know any other pisces it sounds like please feel free to share good luck to you guys take care stay safe be blessed until may i will see you then bye for now